Good morning and welcome to Morgan Cars. I'm Sam and today I'm going to drive the new Morgan Plus 6. Now this is built on their new ZX platform which is a bit wider, a bit bigger and has a new drivetrain. And I think the cars are going to evolve along this platform from now onwards but the Plus 6 is a six cylinder so it's the, it's the same engine that's in the BMW M240i so it's like 335 horsepower inline six uh, with a ZF eight-speed gearbox now this car weighs 1070 kilos so quite a bit less than an M240i so it should have quite a lot of poke now let's have a little look around the car and then go for a drive so looking around the plus six if we look to our left we've got the Morgan three-wheeler which I drove earlier I believe that is a plus four and you can see if we look at the the width of this car the plus six is quite a bit wider so it's quite a it's a much bigger platform and therefore has quite a lot more space not tons of space but more space for you as the driver so it's got a lot more leg room i think it's got another 20 centimeters of leg room or something like that uh, looking around the cabin it's all this very nice leather looking around the back that massive flat panel rear classic on the morgans and so yeah it's 1070 kilos that's uh, such old school style doors and everything. It's just that classic windscreen look. We were in the factory earlier and you can see all these these louvers on the bonnet are hand, they're hand pressed. And I even got a bit of aluminium and pressed out a louver. And you go through that and then realize that someone has to do every single one of those in line. And if you, before they do that, they hand roll all of these aluminium parts then you put the louvers on and if you mess up the last louver you have to start the whole process all over again so coming to the factory you get a real appreciation for some of the handcrafted parts of these cars obviously some of it is also then i think it's called super formed it's basically stamped out of aluminium to get the shapes consistent across the range or for car to car but then you still have all these little details that make them feel a bit more special. Okay, first impressions of the Morgan Plus 6. Well, first of all, no no effort to start it up. You just press, put your key in, turn it on, press D, off you go. That's something that I've just noticed, which is a problem, is my sunglasses are polarized and I can't see, I can't read the speedo over here with these sunglasses on. So if you've got polarized sunglasses, that is a slight problem with the display. I'll have to take them off. One of the things about driving this car that stands out is this, this is the crazy vision you see looking out of the front. Now, it's such an old school or like, yeah, an old school styling of car. And it is, it's that quintessential Morgan look, but now we've got a modern powertrain now i don't know quite how those two connect together yet at the moment i think it's just making my life pretty easy i'm driving this car that looks pretty old and stylized from the outside and if you like if you like the morgan look you like the morgan look but I need to push on <laughs> okay, I just put my foot down for the first time and it. this thing is quite fast. Just the way it builds power, I think the, the torque from the engine, it just surges. It makes this like noise. Like, this is the fastest car Morgan has made, and I tell you what, it's I think the 0 to 60 time is ah, 4.1, 4.2, something like that. But I don't know, ignoring that, it feels fast. I think part of it is the fact you're outside, but then also the way this engine delivers that power. It's, it just sucks you down the road. And then you see that long bonnet creeping off. <laughs> yeah, it's quite fun. 
This is quite fun. Alright, let's put it. Okay, the car is in sport. Okay, so <laughs> this car has not got traction control, <laughs> so it's quite easy to light up the rears, coming out of a, a T-junction or whatever, And but it's so, so benign, it's just chilled, just the, then it just had a little bit of a slide and it's just, the car's just cruising, just having a great time, just popping around. This engine in this car is so different to how I've experienced it in the other cars. You get some pops and you get some burbles, you get some interesting noises. Who buys this car? I think if you're looking for something a bit different, it's, it's, it's actually completely different to what I expected it to be like. Having driven the three-wheeler, I got in this and expected it to be more of the same, and it's not. It's this crazy, boosty, fly down the road. It's almost like the road goes like, experience. Like it's a real like sort of performance experience, but also in something that feels a bit old school. Just the way, the way the boost comes in it is great. Would it work with a naturally aspirated to like a high revving engine? I think it would, it would be a very different experience. I think this, oh, I've got stuff all in my eye. But I think this sort of works because it's more about effortless, effortless cruising in this car. Just sending you down the road with this, the bubble from behind, the wind in your hair, all of these things. And it doesn't go to you to, to go quite fast. This is not a car for driving. You can drive it slowly, but I feel like it pushes you to go, yeah, come on then, change down a little bit. You hear those like blips from the back. Let's press Sport Plus. This is just a silly car. And that is it. That is my drive in the Morgan Plus 6. It's, it's a really interesting car. It's got this classic Morgan looks, but then it's almost like they've shoehorned a 911 turbo engine in it. So you're cruising around, having a great time, roof down, and then you put your foot down, and it's like... Horizon flying past, and off you go. It's a, <laughs> it's a pretty crazy car. It's, um, it feels a lot more than 335 horsepower. I think it's, that's just the, the difference not having any weight. And I think that engine's got quite a lot of torque. So you can just slide the car a little bit out of a roundabout if you want, or just hoon down a road, but then also cruise. I think if, if I was buying something like that, I'd change a few little things, but it's, it's, it's got the looks. It's got crazy performance. I think I would personally like a little bit more sort of noise going on. I'd be interested to drive it with an exhaust to see how that improves the experience, but I would heavily recommend if you are in the area, come down to Morgan, because you can have a tour, you can do test drives, you can even hire a car for up to a week, I think, or, or longer if you want, if you're coming over from another country. So come down, check it out, and see you in the next video.